I will give you an example from China. It's a yes, very sir. great example. In ancient China, one fellow had a crooked little finger. Oh, the body is fine, but this little finger is crooked, like a dog's tail. And he was worried about that. The whole lifetime, from doctor to doctor, so that he will rectify this. Okay. So he would think nothing, nothing is other than his little finger. Yeah. So he wasted his whole of his lifetime exactly. worried about the little finger. For example, Dwaram Venkat Swami Naidu or Beethoven, even if they don't have eyes, they were well, in well, music. Why are you bothered about that? If you don't have eyes, you have got ears, Correct. develop your music. But this fellow, because of little finger, he wasted his lifetime. Because there is no clarity in his mind, there is no equanimity. Even if the one finger is not there, why should you be worried? Even if eyes are not there, why should you be worried? One great painter, he was a world class painter. Okay. And one day, an accident, he lost both the hands. Then he started painting with the legs. He again became a world-class painter. So why are you bothered? Even if you lose your hands or eyes. And that fellow was bothered because of a little crooked finger. See, that why, why he is given so much importance to absolutely unnecessary thing? It's all because of lack of meditation. He wasted his whole lifetime. I will give you an example from my own father, who lost his equanimity. My father joined a sugar factory with a sugar technologist. Along with him, his friends also joined. One of his friends was two months junior to him. Okay. But he was more hardworking. So in the company, he was given promotion over my father. Then my father lost his balance. Oh. He became schizophrenic. His whole mind got shattered. Because two months junior to me, how can he become my senior? Couldn't bear that. Bear that. So he became mental patient. Half of my father's lifetime was spent in mental hospitals. I used to t carry as a child, as a student, yes. tiffin boxes, food for my father, cycling six kilometers in Hyderabad. So my, my whole childhood was ruined because of my father. He became a mental patient. You know, if the, if the bread and there becomes a schizophrenic, what happens? You can imagine. And my whole childhood went in that. And when he comes back home, there is a daily fight and we will have to pro protect our mother from my father's onslaughts. Every day it was a Mahabharata Yuddha. Either he is the Mahabharata Yuddha at the home or in the mental hospital. Now you understand. Amazing. All because of he lost his equanimity. Because two months junior to him became his senior. Just that. It is not just that for him. It's like for a Chinese fellow who had a crooked, crooked, crooked finger, finger, little finger. Uh -huh. So, you see, otherwise my father was a brilliant man. Okay, he was helping everybody. Oh, everything is good except for this. He couldn't bear that. I mean, and that, the fuse was off. What about me? What exactly. about the what about children? What about yeah. the whole family? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, this is my personal experience, Swamiji.